Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia XR20 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. To get started simply pull down your notification panel and look for the hotspot toggle which for me looks to be turned off apparently. So if you don't see your hotspot toggle in here you can tap on this pencil and as you can see it's in the turned off toggle so grab it, drag it up, wrap it and you're done. Uh, now it's in your toggles. So from here we can now find it in our toggles right here. And once you see it, you want to hold it the first time around. Uh, that is just so we can actually customize it. By default, the phone sets up some kind of password which is randomly generated. So you will never know what it is. Uh, so you are the first time around always required to navigate into here. So let's go to Wi-Fi hotspot and then select the hotspot password. And as you can see, there is a randomly generated password. Now you could write this down if you want to, uh, but to be honest, uh, the better alternative is just to remove this one and set up your own uh, password. Now it does need to have eight characters in length, at which point you will be able to save it. And there we go. So we changed our password and now we actually know it. Additionally, you have the hotspot name. This is just gonna be the Wi-Fi uh, name basically. So by default, it always says the name of the device, which in this case is Nokia XR20. To have security, I would advise you to keep it as it is. Then below there we have AP band. We have a choice between uh, uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Um, now this is uh, gonna be different for everybody, which one you're gonna choose. Uh, just generally explaining this, a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi is gonna be faster and more stable of a connection, but older devices will not support it. Now, older meaning like five years back probably. Um, and even further, while the 5 gigahertz is supported by any any phone that has been purchased in like last three years. So you should be good to go with that one. Now, if you're not sure if your phone supports it or not, what you can do is turn it on. And then once you turn on the hotspot, like so, you can try to find your hotspot. So you'll be looking for a Wi-Fi by this name. And if your phone just completely, or phone or whatever the device you're trying to connect to this hotspot with, doesn't see this name right here in your Wi-Fi list, that will give you a clear indication that this device does not support 5 gigahertz. And all you would need to do to fix that up is go back into the settings and change it back to 2.4 and everything will work fine. And under advanced, we have also another toggle. So turn off hotspot automatically after it's just a couple of minutes of inactivity. Uh, I would recommend you to keep this on. It is a really handy option. I personally forget to turn off my hotspot and the hotspot does consume more battery on your device, uh, which uh, makes it redundant to run in the background when you're not using it, uh, when all you do is just waste battery in this case. So this will help you out uh, with saving your battery basically when you're done using it, but you didn't remember to turn it off. So anyway, once you set it all up, you can leave the section right here and all you need to do now is tap, not on this toggle, uh, tap on the, there we go, hotspot toggle to turn it on whenever you need it. And that's it. Now you can connect to it and use your mobile network of the device that it is enabled on. And once you're done with it, uh, you can either, like I mentioned before, wait for the toggle to turn it off for you, or you can also tap it, tap on it yourself and turn it off manually. And that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.